Today's math strategy video is understanding fractions as division. So we're going to look at different ways to represent, um, you know, uh, fractions as division. So I have a little, um, two little bar models right here. So I'm going to break this first one into one third. So this is one third or one out of three. Well, this can also be represented as one divided by three. It can also be represented as one divided by three. So you're essentially, you're taking your numerator and that is going to be your dividend and your denominator is now your divisor. So you're taking one and dividing it by three. Um, let's look at another example. So let's say that I had two fifths. So two out of five. So two out of five can also be represented as two divided by five and as two divided by five, where the numerator here becomes my dividend and the denominator becomes my divisor. So you'll know this and it, you'll think to yourself, this looks kind of weird because it's a, it's a smaller number um, that you're dividing. And that's because you know that it's not quite a whole. So if you had this, you know that you would have at two and then like one fifth. So you know that that could not represent this model because this is a whole number and we are looking at a fraction. So not correct. Okay, let's look at an example problem to help us understand uh, division with fractions. So it says there are five hallways for three students to decorate. And it says up here, Jared, Monica, and Heather, they're going to decorate these hallways equally. And it shows us what this looks like. It is five divided by three. So what we are talking about is that we have five hallways. So I'm going to draw them. And we have three people that are going to decorate equally. So I'm going to divide these into thirds. So this would also be equal to this and this. This is what this would look like, just so you know, as we go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each one of these. So this one, let's just keep the orange. And that would be what Jared say that Jared is orange and he colors all or he paints all of those or decorates the hallway. Now we have yellow and let's say that that is Monica. Monica's yellow and she decorates these portions of the hallway. Now we have green and let's say that that's Heather. Heather's going to decorate all these portions. So if you look at this, I have five divided by three, five divided by three here. So that's going to actually give me a whole number. So if I look at this and I pull out, um, you know, all of Heather, what Heather has done, let me pull, let me use my green here. If I pull these sections out, she has one third section here, one third here, one third here, a third there, and a third. Well, these three, she's painted at least one whole hallway and then another two thirds over here. So she's painted one and two thirds of a hallway. And that means that Jared and Monica have also painted one and two thirds of a hallway here. Let's look at another problem. So this one says, Trisha is taking care of the Han family's dogs. The Hans leave seven cans of dog food for three days. So seven cans of dog food. Okay. 
All right, so they have seven cans for the three days that they will be away. How much food would the dogs get each day if Trish feeds them an equal amount? Okay, so if she feeds seven, uh, or she's, sorry, she has seven cans of dog food for the three days. Well, right here, I know I can go ahead and I can divide these, you know, into thirds. Let's say, now, hopefully she wouldn't do this, but just to, just so that you can understand, let's say that she, each day she takes, because she has three days, let's say that the very first day, day one is the pink, and she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thirds, or seven thirds she's used on that first day. So seven thirds would be, um, what would that be? Two and one third. So two and one third cans would be used. Surely she wouldn't open up each can, you know, for the very first day and just use a third out of all of them, we would think she would use two cans and then a third. So then let's say the next day, get another color purple. Day two, she, this section, this section, this section, this section, this section. And all of these, another, you know, seven thirds. So she would have two and one thirds cans on day two. And then let's look at if she day three used the rest of these. So that would be this part, this third, this third, until she used up all of the cans. So that would be another seven thirds. So each day she would use two and one thirds cans because if I take two and a third and I add, if this was day one, day two, and day three, that would give me two, four, six, and then these thirds, that would be the seven cans. So each, this can be represented as this as well, seven times a third. So just know that that is another way to represent division. So this little sign that your fraction bar represents division in itself, but it can also seven times one third because that would, if I put seven, any whole number over one and I multiply across, I will get seven thirds. So just know that that's another way to represent division with fractions.